ओके नाउ वी हैव द ग्रीड आर द रिकॉर्ड्स इन द स्कूल सर्वर एंड वी आर स्विंग इट इन द वेब पेज इन द इंडेक्स पेज सो देर आर सेवेन रिकॉर्ड्स एंड वी आर आल्सो स्विंग सेवेन रिकॉर्ड्स हियर ओके बट द क्वेश्चन इज इफ वी हैव हंड्रेड और थाउजेंड्स ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स how can the user will show it uh, by scrolling down okay it will be difficult so for that we are going to a concept called paging so for paging what needed we will show you so first step in paging is we have to add a package from nuget package manager that is called page delist mvc browse it page delist dot mvc okay this one we are going to add it install then it will be installed here okay so we by adding that we are going to add two things page list page list dot mvc okay so now it is referenced here page list and page list time is referenced here okay now we'll proceed ahead close it so the first step is the second step is we'll go to the controller okay so we are seeing that uh, seven records due to this index action result this index is returning all the employees what uh, our question is uh, we should not return all the employees if there are 100 employees we should not return 100 employees so we should return page wise so what we will do i will write here we will pass here a page int page no by default first page will be shown and another thing i will add here int page size equal to suppose it is 3 okay then we are not returning all the employees so now we will filter it filter em so what will do we will create another variable equal to new page list model employee model employee then <coughs> we'll write here e employee means this will be filtered with this page number and this page size now there is some error coming we will fix it using page list error is gone here it is added using page list then we are not re returning employee total employee we are returning page re employee so i will copy it and override here page re employee okay so it is done now Uh, let's run it. What is coming? We will see. Now you can see there is only three employees are coming. Three records. Why? Because we have mentioned here in the controller that the page size is three and the first page, page number one is coming. So here, Robin, Rahul, and Ramakrishna. You see here, Robin, Rahul, and Ramakrishna is coming. But we need page number here, here. So for that we are going to do some code. So what we'll do uh, for that we are writing here page list. Instead of I enumerable, we change it to page. Previously it was I enumerable, but we are changing it to page list. Okay, and after that we will add this two line using page list and using page list dot mbc. 
so that's done then we will go for paging means we load table we have a page numbers so what we will do so here i will paste this line okay this is the main code for paging means a page number we have to show so html page list pager so page list pager here see uh, it is coming due to this using okay and a page list all the three are responsible for that page list pager then model model is employee see here m employee model then page number page number is coming from here controller the model is taking eh? same page number okay then page size is here okay this is the what um, this is the syntax so i save it and let's go and refresh okay so after refreshing we got the page number previously this was blank so this line is coming due to this much code okay this is coming to you but uh, so uh, if you click here second page see second page i am getting ramanand sagar problem and prakash jain so ramanand sagar problem prakash jain this three then i will go to page number 3 only one parvesh verma is there only one parvesh verma okay but uh, you should have a good ui so though we have the bootstrap class classes are present here but we are not seeing the beautiful ui so for this also here if you see all the classes are ready but we are not referencing the bootstrap here for that we have to go for new get package download it and reference here then we will get, give a good ui let's go there for bootstrap i'll right click here manage new code package browse bootstrap dot css click here okay i'm going to here clicking or we can go for this also okay let's go for this bootstrap install okay then all the bootstrap css and js file see this is the js file which is helping the bootstrap css css is also automatic adding after installing okay we'll use this css file now installation is done let's close it so here i will add go to the content bootstrap main.css and page list.css so this two are needed i'll save it again i'll run okay this two file i mean and css i added other are not required now saved it i'm running it now you will see the beautiful ui it is due to bootstrap okay it is due to these two lines we added okay previously though previously the classes are there but we have not added the links so from this source it is checking the classes this is mentioned in the css file now you are getting the ui okay everything is here if you go to second page you are getting second page you are getting the third page here okay so this is this ui is possible due to bootstrap so you will see the structure here one is table which we have already done previously and some classes are added here 
tr and th this is header is coming previously we are not added this header so now this header if you see this header this is tr and th total is tr and this is th 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 okay so and uh, this is the div for pagination this showing the page numbers so both are encapsulated by the div with class container so that we are getting this ui okay so after that we will go for searching we will put a search button here we can go for searching then sorting okay 